Imagine a city where every corner holds a piece of history, a city that's a living, breathing museum. Welcome to Rome, the eternal city. This is a place where the past meets the present at every turn. Founded by the legendary Romulus and Remus, Rome rose to become the heart of an empire that shaped the course of history. So, buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey through time as we explore the top 10 things to do in Rome. Number one is the Colosseum, Rome's iconic symbol of imperial power. This colossal monument, completed in the first century AD, stands as a testament to Rome's rich history and architectural prowess. Imagine thousands of spectators, their eyes fixated on the sand-covered arena below, their cheers and jeers echoing off the stone walls. This was the stage for gladiatorial contests, a spectacle of strength and courage, where brave souls battled for their lives and the entertainment of the masses. As the largest amphitheater ever built, the Colosseum could hold an estimated 50 to 80,000 spectators. Its ingenious design, complete with trapdoors and elevators, added a dramatic flair to the games. But it wasn't just about the spectacle. The Colosseum was a powerful symbol of Rome's might, a place where emperors could showcase their wealth and control. The Colosseum has stood the test of time, bearing witness to the rise and fall of empires. And as the dawn breaks, casting a warm glow over the ancient structure, its past comes alive. You can almost see the gladiators stepping into the arena, hear the roar of the crowds, feel the anticipation in the air, as the sun rises over this ancient amphitheater, you can almost hear the roar of the crowds from centuries ago. Number two, step into the Pantheon, a marvel of ancient Roman architecture. This grand structure with its imposing columns and vast portico was once a temple dedicated to all the gods of pagan Rome. The Pantheon's architectural brilliance shines in its colossal dome, the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome even to this day. Now let's look at the Oculus. The Pantheon's eye to the heavens. This circular opening at the dome's apex allows natural light to pour into the interior, casting an ethereal glow on the marble floor below. The oculus also serves a practical purpose. It lightens the structural load of the dome. In the 7th century, the Pantheon was converted into a Christian church, named Santa Maria ad Martires. This transformation ensured its survival when many other Roman structures fell into ruin. Today, it's not just a monument of the past, but also a living place of worship, with masses still celebrated here. As you gaze up at the oculus, you'll feel a connection to the countless individuals who have stood in this very spot over the past two millennia. Number three is the Vatican Museums, home to centuries of art and history. Imagine yourself wandering through a labyrinth of galleries, each more breathtaking than the last. Here, amidst the hallowed halls, you'll find an array of artistic and historical treasures from various periods and regions. Among these, the Sistine Chapel and the Raphael Room stand out as shining examples of Renaissance artistry. Imagine gazing up at Michelangelo's iconic ceiling frescoes in the Sistine Chapel, each brushstroke telling a profound biblical tale. Then, lose yourself in the intricate details of the Raphael Rooms, where the master painter's genius unfolds in a symphony of color and form. Beyond the awe-inspiring art, the Vatican Museums also stand testament to the Vatican's role as the beating heart of the Catholic Church. Every corner of this magnificent complex whispers tales of faith, power and devotion, adding layers of depth to your experience. Leaving the Vatican Museums, you'll carry with you the memory of some of the world's greatest masterpieces. By now, you must be hungry. So there is our number four, Trastevere, a charming neighborhood known for its authentic Roman cuisine. Amid the labyrinth of cobblestone streets, you'll feel the bohemian vibe that Trastevere is famous for. Here, tradition and modernity blend effortlessly. Immerse yourself in the local culture by trying a plate of pasta alla carbonara, a Roman classic, or perhaps a mouth-watering supply, a local delicacy made of fried rice balls stuffed with mozzarella. After a satisfying meal, you're ready to continue your Roman adventure. After lunch, make your way to our number five location, Castel Sant'Angelo, a fortress with a view. A structure with a story as multifaceted as the city itself, Castel Sant'Angelo has worn many hats throughout Rome's rich history. Initially built as a mausoleum for Emperor Hadrian and his family in the second century, it later served as a military fortress, providing a safe haven for popes in times of danger. Its robust walls whisper tales of power and intrigue, of secrets buried deep within its labyrinthine corridors. 
Over time, it even functioned as a prison. Its eerie, dimly lit cells a stark contrast to the grandeur of its exterior. Yet, despite its somber past, Castel Sant'Angelo offers some of the most breathtaking panoramic views of Rome. From its topmost terrace, the city unfurls before your eyes, a sprawling canvas of ancient ruins, domed cathedrals and bustling plazas. As the afternoon sun bathes Rome in a warm glow, you'll have a moment to reflect on the city's rich tapestry of history. As evening falls, number six is waiting for you. The Piazza Navona is one of Rome's most beautiful squares. This enchanting place, with its cobblestone paths and Baroque architecture, is a testament to Rome's timeless beauty. The square is surrounded by palatial buildings, their facades adorned with intricate details, a visual feast for the eyes. The piazza buzzes with life, as locals and tourists alike flock to its bustling cafes. The aroma of fresh Italian coffee and the tantalizing scent of oven-baked pizzas fill the air, creating an atmosphere that is quintessentially Roman. At the heart of the square, you'll find the famous Fountain of the Four Rivers. Designed by the renowned sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini, this masterpiece is not just a fountain, but a narrative in stone. Each of the four statues represents a river from a different continent, a nod to Rome's influence across the globe. As the sun dips below the horizon, the piazza is bathed in a soft, warm glow. The chatter of conversations, the soft strumming of a street musician's guitar, the sound of laughter and clinking glasses at the cafes all blend into a symphony of sounds, capturing the essence of Rome's nightlife. With the sounds of laughter and clinking glasses in the air, you'll feel the true spirit of La Dolce Vita. Number 8. End your day in Rome at the Spanish Steps, a popular gathering spot for locals and tourists alike. These iconic steps, all 135 of them, have a rich history that dates back to the early 18th century. They are nestled in the heart of the stylish Via dei Condotti district, with its high-end boutiques and charming cafes that add a touch of glamour to the area. Number 9. Just a stone's throw away from the steps is the Trinita dei Monti Church, perched at the top, lending an ethereal backdrop to the bustling scene below. This French Renaissance church is a testament to the city's diverse architectural influences, and is worth a visit for its stunning frescoes. At the foot of the steps you'll find our last recommended location. At number 10 is the Barcaccia Fountain, an elegant masterpiece sculpted by Pietro Bernini. Its design, inspired by a sinking ship, is a nod to the historic flood of the River Tiber. As you sit on the Spanish steps under the starry Roman sky, you'll feel a sense of fulfillment and awe at all you've experienced. Each location in Rome tells a unique story, a narrative that weaves history, culture and art into a vibrant tapestry of experiences. At the break of dawn, the Colosseum stands as a testament to Rome's ancient glory, its stones whispering tales of gladiators and emperors, as the day progresses, the Pantheon reveals the genius of Roman engineering, while the Vatican Museums showcase the city's profound artistic heritage. Lunch in Trastevere is a gastronomic adventure, where traditional Roman cuisine takes center stage. The afternoon brings us to Castel Sant'Angelo, a fortress with a panoramic view that's as breathtaking as its history is intriguing. As the sun sets, Piazza Navona comes alive, its Baroque architecture bathed in the warm glow of twilight. And finally, the Spanish steps beckon under the starlit sky, their timeless charm providing a fitting end to a day filled with discovery. Each of these experiences forms a chapter in Rome's grand narrative, a tale that continues to unfold with each visit. So, when you're ready to take a journey through history, art and culture, Rome awaits. Until then, arrivederci and happy travels.